Because thanks a lot for joining us this afternoon. This is fantastic because it's almost like a it's an advocacy platform where you run campaigns, um, especially for certain issues, especially around black women or low black low income women, as well as highlighting some of those problems such as gender based violence. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I think for us, it's really at the heart of it. It's about bringing people together because when those most affected by injustice, you know, are part and parcel of the solution, are centered, we all win as a society. Yeah. which is precisely what we're trying to do. How does it work? How does Amanda Totmo we work? So essentially we would identify a campaign, right? Or values aligned organizations and individuals would bring a campaign to the fore. And what we would do is it would be distributed via mobile channels. We're multilingual on mobile. We've mostly run in four languages, but more recently we've been doing in eight. And so it begins, we ask people to join a particular campaign, which enables us to keep in touch with them. So this would be via USSD, please call me, or even SMS, or you can even go online. And this means that throughout every step of the process, we can get as many people involved, whether it is making submissions in, or participating in other ways in formal democratic protests, um, whether it Petition. is... Yes, whether it is making submissions, signing the petition, coming out as we do something creative, like with the sanitary pads campaign, we had a costume, a giant pad costume, which we call the revolutionary pad, that chased around politicians until they caved in. So it's been to Parliament, the union building, and so on. Yeah. And I mean, on the other side of it, one may say that therefore you have to be quite strategic in terms of knowing who, which campaign to align yourself with, which speaks to the greater issues um, that you're trying to address. Absolutely. I think for us as an organization, we are very clear that the work we do is always grounded in values. And our values are very unapologetically, you know, we are pro-black, we are pro-women, and we have a very particular view. We are anti-classism, you know, mm -hmm. and have a very particular view on issues and what a just world could be, what a just South Africa could look like. Well, let me say that it's almost like giving a voice to the voiceless. I mean, especially because you're a pro-black woman. So a woman, for example, who maybe has got a certain uh, campaign or a need or wants to propagate it, you know, during or get into that mass market and does not necessarily know how to do so, then they will automatically contact you so that you're able then to, one may say, that effectively spread the message across and strategically aligning with, uh, you know, certain platforms to do so. So I wouldn't say the voice for the voiceless, right? Um, as we, as has been said, you know, a lot of people are happy voice and if we look at most of the struggles that have been waged and are continuously waged in South Africa yeah. they are led by black women you yeah. know this is really about saying that you shouldn't be isolated from people you know how do we come together build a community that is values aligned and say that collectively we are much more powerful the reality is no single individual and no single organization is ever going to change everything we are challenging governments and corporates that have so much more resources and capacity so in many ways we are on the market Margins, right? And for us, we are saying our strength lies in us working collectively, building the ecosystems that move us collectively forward. So then what does this award mean for you? I mean, take for global good in itself. Um, so I think for us, I mean, it is a welcome honor for the community. Um, one of the things we interest ourselves, we are fundamentally about people, right? But we are also saying that we use all the tools at our disposal to create the change that we want to see. Technology is not going anywhere. It is there. And those who want to exploit the world, those who want to serve like very self-serving interests will also always be using it. And we're saying that technology can actually be used to build the world we want to see, to bring people people together in ways that fundamentally shift how power is organized. This is a very important conversation. I'll tell you why. It's because we keep speaking about 4IR. We, speak, we keep speaking about how we need to get into the digital age and understand the power of the internet as well as the power of our mobile device and the change that it's able to affect. One may say that maybe we're not even equipping information enough to citizens to know that actually the power within their mobile devices and the use of the internet can actually bring a global community so close that uh, certain, those those voices that we're speaking about that maybe not even for the voices but they can actually extend far-reaching measures as previously anticipated in itself. Absolutely. Um, technology is not inherently good or bad, right? Yeah. But we have seen throughout history that technology, because those with more power, those with more resources, often are able to access the best of technology, right? And so it is used in ways that are absolutely vile, you know, whether we're talking about rigging elections, whether we're talking about interfering in other countries' elections. You know, I can make a whole host of examples. Yeah. But on the other hand, we are saying that actually it can be taken back, you know, 
know, instead of us taking technology and reproducing existing inequalities, we can use it to actually fight back and push back against these inequalities. Uh, it, look, it's a conversation we can go on about, but I think that, first of all, congratulations um, on, the, on the initiative and congratulations on uh, the award that you're going to be hopefully take for Global Good Celebrations. That's happening on the 2nd of November. Yes. So hopefully you bring it back home for, for the country as well. But uh, congratulations. I think Thank it's always so good to see uh, companies that are using technology as well as their networks for propagating good in the larger discourse.